Welcome to the Fit Foodie on Graciela TV. I'm your host, Graciela Barato. Today I'm making for you banana oatmeal pancakes. They're delicious, nutritious, and they're a really great way to start your day. These pancakes are so delicious, they make me wanna. I just happen to have my tap shoes on. So, okay, back to the cooking. So I'm going to get some flour, and here I have some whole oat flour. I use this a lot, as you can see. And this is really great because it's super high in fiber. I'm going to measure out a cup and a half of the oat flour. Okay, so and now I'm going to put some whole oats in there. We're going to use half a cup. This is such a homey breakfast and I really like to make this on Saturday or Sunday mornings when I'm free, which is not all that often. So next we're going to add some sea salt and just a pinch of salt, that's all you need. Oh, I, I still have my tatches on by the way. <laughs> All right, one pinch, two pinch, or and a half of salt. Now we're going to get some baking powder and baking soda. So I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of the baking powder and half a teaspoon of the baking soda. I always do one and a half measuring of each because they actually help the pancakes grow and expand upwards and outwards. So that's why you need both of them. Great, now we're gonna give these dry ingredients a little stir. This is such a simple recipe and you can actually pre-make the dry ingredients as a mix and store it and then when you're ready, just add the wet ingredients on the day of. And another thing that I really like to do, I usually make a really large portion of the batter. I make all of the pancakes and then I freeze them just like the store-bought frozen ones and I pop them in the toaster whenever I want them. Okay, next thing you want to do is make a little hole in the middle of your dry ingredients. This is a little old-fashioned technique here. So I'm just kind of uh, pushing the flour to the side. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is peel two ripened bananas and we're just going to put them in a couple little chunks in the center. And then we're going to mash these up with a fork. If you have any kids, this is fun for them to do. Now I'm going to mash these bananas up in the center. And of course, you definitely want to get the most ripened ones that you can because they'll be softer to mash up. And these are going to make your batter super sweet without any sugar and make it super moist. So watch out when you cook them. Don't be mistaken for it being wet batter. Just know that the bananas are going to stay moist in there. So the pancakes are cooked, it's just the bananas that are in there. Next, I'm going to take three eggs and crack them right on top of the bananas. One. So whip those up right on top of the bananas. And I love doing this little old-fashioned technique where you push the flour aside because you use less bowls and there's less of a mess to clean up, which is always what I'm looking for. Great, now we're going to add some pure vanilla extract. I absolutely love vanilla and to me, you can never use too much. What I'm going to do 
two teaspoonfuls. And here I've actually got a bourbon vanilla, so it has a little extra kick to it. Stir that up again. And now we're going to add a quarter cup of canola oil. And give that another little stir. And lastly, we're going to add some milk. And go grab that. And some milk. Adding some milk. Adding some milk. Mm. All right, so I'm measuring about a cup of milk, but every batter is a little bit different depending on the size of the eggs. So you just have to add it a little bit at a time to see what consistency is good. So I'm just using my fork to kind of bring the flour into the wet ingredients. And once I have that mixed up a little bit, I'm going to switch over to my spoon. And now I'm ready for my milk. I'm going to add about a quarter cup for now. Just stir this. So this batter is going to be very chunky. Don't fear. It's supposed to be like that because you've got your bananas and you've got your whole oats in there. These are really, really hearty, delicious pancakes. Whip it up. Whip it up. Whipping up my batter. There we go. So see, I've used a quarter cup of milk right now, but I think I just only need another quarter cup more. So that's why I measure it out first, and then if I don't need it, I could just pour my milk back. Now that our batter is done, it's time to go to the stove. I like to use this size so that I can make more than one pancake at once. Okay, so what's really different about these pancakes is that I am going to be grilling them up with coconut oil. Here I've got extra virgin organic coconut oil, which is really, really good for you. So if you haven't researched it yet, do so. I'm going to just put this on the pan. And coconut oil actually is really good for high heat cooking. As you can see, it's very dense. It's not liquidy just yet until it hits the heat. So we're gonna let this heat up and then we'll put our pancakes on. I think it's ready. Let's put the batter on. Okay, so here I'm going to be using a little mini ladle because it makes the perfect size pancake. So I'm going to be making medium size pancakes here because this batter is so thick. Kind of want to keep it condensed. So you kind of want to spread it out a little bit on the pan so that they cook all the way through because they have the oats in them and the bananas. So you want to make sure that that batter is cooked all the way through. All right. So these just need about a minute each. So you know when you can flip them, when they start getting these little bubbles on the top, those are your indication to flip. Okay, this one looks ready. Uh, I'm gonna give it a test. Yep, here we go. I'm not so good at flipping, so watch out. Here we go, number one. Oh, number two looks ready. Make sure you get under there. Number two, number three, and number four. So my griddle looks like it's getting really hot. I'm going to put it back down to a medium, medium low. There we go. You always have to continue adjusting the heat on these because it varies. So you want to heat it up on high at first and then lower it to a medium, medium low. And then if you need to raise it again, do that. These are done. I'm going to plate my pancakes. That's one. Check out number two. Perfect. Three. Four. Yum. 
Yum, yummy. Okay, I'm going to plate my second batch of pancakes. And usually after the second batch, I grab a paper towel so that I can clean up the griddle because it gets a little residual batter on there and it starts to burn up. So very gently with a paper towel, you kind of just want to wipe it clean, press it off to the side so that you can get it ready for the next batch. And keep the paper away from the fire. Batch number three. You're done. Our pancakes are done. Now let's bring them over and serve. So now I'm going to plate my pancakes, going to give myself three of them. And believe it or not, these are sweet enough on their own. They really don't need maple syrup, but if you like a little bit, I suggest using the natural 100% maple syrup. And here I've got grade B. I really love grade B maple syrup because it's thicker than A. You would think A would be better, but I like the B because it's a lot thicker. It's still all natural, but it works really well with pancakes. So I'm just going to use one tablespoonful. That's all these meat because they're so moist and so sweet all on their own. And I'm going to pour myself some of this delicious cocoa coffee that I've brewed up. It's a specialty coffee that I found and it's really delicious and I like the cocoa flavor with the banana. And now it's time for breakfast. I hope you try these pancakes at home and enjoy. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Graziella TV. See you next time. Graziella TV.